So right now I'm standing behind or between two uh, of these grave mounds and uh, there's actually never been an excavation here so we don't know how, um, how they might look but I am absolutely certain that they would look absolutely glorious these, um, these ancestors of ours and um, if they would see the state of their descendants the descendants I am sure that they would um, dismay at the, the state of the, the modern man so um, follow my teachings take the glorious pill become a cultured thug and by that I mean that you should also and with that I mean that you should harbor some sort of physical prowess but also some mental prowess and the cultural thug is something I've taken from Jonathan Bowden when he in turn has taken that from Lord Byron so we have Lord Byron's cultured thug which um, is an ideal of someone who is um, harbors both of these qualities so anyway I have found something that I haven't actually seen before despite being having been here many times before and uh, let's look at it some sort of wall let's descend and see what what is going on here that's nice I think I've found a good place to shoot some uh, incoming clothing uh, that's incoming, I don't know, today or tomorrow, hopefully before the weekend because the restock has been quite some time in the making. So anyway, look at this uh, aesthetic, uh, looks absolutely glorious, this Northern European rugged style aesthetics. I'm gonna get a cool screenshot of my um, Mithrandir exploration hoodie. And the hammer of Thor, obviously. Admire how glorious my hair looks when it flows in the wind like this. Absolutely heroic. Anyway, talking about gods and ancestors, it doesn't really matter how you view the subject. My most important teaching that I would like to bestow upon you, my dear subscriber or supporter or legionnaire, true friend, whomever you might be, is that if you know that you're accountable to someone, and if you're Christian, you can be accountable to God, if you're pagan, to the gods, or yet again, if you're pagan, to your ancestors, if you're accountable to someone, if you know that someone is watching, your decisions, your everyday actions, what you do and what you do not do, and you feel that there's at least someone you can make proud or make less proud, then you are, in all actuality, more inclined to behave in a good manner. And this is true for more mundane things as well. Uh, if you're accountable to someone, you will be more inclined to perform at your best. So, the conclusion, my best advice is to say to yourself that your ancestors are watching and, do, and you should conduct yourself in such a way that they become proud of you. And obviously everyone makes mistakes, but uh, try to make as little mistakes as possible.